because I believe there's inside of every man and every woman this desire for greatness. I believe God has put it in there. I believe that he has put a purpose and a passion within our hearts that we want to experience greatness in this life. And don't get it twisted. I ain't talking about no health and wealth gospel here, but I'm talking about walking in a fullness that Jesus himself says he has brought us. Remember he tells us in John 10, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come to give life and life to the full. That thing that you have in your heart that says there is more to life in this, there is, and God wants you to experience it. He's not trying to bind your hands that you can't walk in greatness. He's trying to free you that you can experience the fullness of it. Don't you see? He comes to serve, not to be served. He comes to do in your life what you can't do for yourself. You want greatness in that marriage? Let him serve in that capacity. Quit binding him. Quit stopping him from being great. You letting him go halfway. Why? You putting restrictions on him. You putting constraints. You won't let him loose. And God is saying, no, the son of man came to serve, not be served. Let me do for you first so you know how to do for others. You want to rise to greatness? Let me rise to greatness first. Deny yourself. Quit trying to make it do yourself, um, your life, your way. Let me do what I've come to do like only I can do it. He says, the son of man comes to serve. You want to be great? Let me serve you greatly. Quit restricting me. Quit tying my hands. Let me go. Let me free into your life, into your situation, into your marriage, into your family. Let me go and do what only I can do. You can't do it. Deny yourself. Pick up your cross and follow me. Let me lead you. Quit trying to be the employer. I'm the one. Like, the greatest frustration I had on these jobs where these they wouldn't allow you to be great is they wouldn't listen to me. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm trying to say that conceitedly. I'm just saying I'm in the trenches. I see what needs to be done. They up in the hierarchy somewhere thinking they know what's best, but they ain't down in the mud. They ain't down in the pits. They got no idea what's going on. They don't know where the tools are going. They just know on a spreadsheet it should be working out just like this. And Jesus said, that ain't how it is. You are going to lose everything that way. Listen to the man in the mud. And your Jesus, our Jesus, the one that we serve, he in the trenches with us. He ain't somewhere high and mighty on a throne. He right next to us. Stick us closer than a brother. And he knows what needs to be done. And all we got to do is get out the way and listen to the man who is leading this charge. He's saying, you want to be great? Follow me. I'll show you how it's done. Quit tying my hands up and let me go. All you got, you want to be great. You want to experience that greatness in your life. You want to know that you got satisfaction. And you walk into the purpose that God has designed for your life. Then open the door and let Him out into your life. Let Him lead the charge. The best you can do is the best you can do, and that's where you found right now. And you left wanting. There's that longing inside. But when He takes the lead, when you untie His hands, when you open that cage and you let the lion out, baby, He will take charge because that's what He was born to do. This is his life. It ain't your own. You've been bought at a price. Now let the one that owns it lead it.